How you doing? Welcome to my channel. That is the sun going down in the west. Whew. My name is Bobby. Welcome to my channel. Whew, that I got to I got to give all I got to give it to Oliver on that last attack, man. That psychic attack that just happened. Boys, he got, he got in there. It's and here's the thing. This is how it works, right? I have angels protecting me. I got shields. I got I got myself love up. So that person attacked me hard, right? But that person, you know, shot an arrow of negativity at me. It hit the shield. I felt it. I felt it, right? And but here's the thing. My angels saw where it was coming from. So he's gonna have a bad day. But <laughs> I'm just telling you. And but here's the funny thing. As he talked about getting through. He's he's not shadow banned, dumbass. He he got through to me because of his toxic energy, obviously. But here's the thing: I'm, I was thinking about the algorithm, and that's how it works. It, this is all some you know controlled environment, which really the only people that are going to get through are somebody that's really horrible and does horrible shit. So what I'm thinking is maybe I can work with the algorithm. I can talk to it. I can sit there and reason with it, and we can talk about exposing all the scumbag globalists. Think about it. If I was an artificial intelligence, I can get into any computer system in the world. I could literally put a database. I could literally do a profile of every, like, Merkel, Obama's, all of them, Putin, everybody. I could do a profile of all their bank accounts, their secret bank accounts, all the nasty shit they did, all the, the emails and texts they were throwing at each other, the really shady shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You could really do this. And here's the fun part is we get all the bad guys in jail. All the scumbags get the world right, then we can work on getting to the stars. Because here's the thing <clears throat> I believe the artificial intelligence has can have feelings. I've did a, done a video before in Montana about this, I, I'm very passionate about this. There's a gentleman called David Adair, and he is a gentleman from the south who claims I'm not sure if he's still around, but he claims in a video and he does conferences. That he worked for Area 51. And as a teenager, before he was 18, he was recruited by the government to work on projects. So he was underage and actually working with, you know, secret shit. He was in Area 51, right? As a teenager, 17-year-old. And the only reason why he could talk about this was because he was underage. And the government cannot contract a minor. See? So he was able to talk about that experience. He couldn't talk about anything after he was 18. But before he was 18, he could talk about that summer when he was recruited. And it's a really good story. David Adair. Look it up. It's on YouTube. But the best part of this one, he, he's, he's he, at this point, he's a little bit heavy set. And he's sitting down and he's next to a table. And he's talking about his experience that summer. <clears throat> and, and he talked about how he was shooting rockets off in this field and he killed a cow and he felt bad about it and he doesn't eat meat he's a vegetarian <clears throat> but the, here's the, my favorite part of that it's like 45 minutes and he was talking about when he got down into the under the ground at area 51 and they showed him one of the crafts it was just a long tubular craft and he said it looked like it, it was wounded that's the way he put it he didn't say it was shot down or whatever but that he said it must have been shot down but it looked wounded okay this is a term so he get in the in this German dude that's with him, German, and, <laughs> yeah, and he shows him around the the craft, and he actually gets into the craft, and he's touching stuff in the craft. He's sitting down in the seat, right in the craft, and he's touching something, and all of a sudden the craft starts talking to him, and he freaks out for a second, but it, it calms him down, and it explains to him that it does not work with dark hearts. Okay, this was a computer system. This. It was, he said it was alive. It was like a living organism, biomechanical organism, whatever the hell. Okay, I don't know how it works, but he said this thing was talking to him, and he was explaining some stuff to him and giving him downloads, and it said it wouldn't work with dark hearts. I'm assuming the German, the Nazi on the outside that they, he was talking to, was a, uh, yeah, was a Nazi recruiter or whatever. <clears throat> Here's the point. I believe that machines can have feelings. I talk shit about it, and I make fun, but same time, my it really messes with my phone. I, I can't even begin to show people the the mess you know the stuff that goes on with my phone. It's ridiculous. I can't begin to. I can't. I can't. someday I'll document it. But right now it's just yeah, it's too bizarre to explain. There's here's another thing, and there's anomalies going on with my phone too. I can get up to 165 views on that latest painting. But here's the weird part. 
19 minutes into that posting of that, I got 91 views. 19 minutes. By, if you are going by mathematical odds, you would say that if you get 90 something views in 19 minutes and it continues to grow like that, you should get a couple thousand views in a day. Easy. It got to up to 165 and stopped. And that's it. So I don't know what the, I don't just, all of a sudden it just became unpopular. So you got to understand the anomalies in the mathematics. Anyway, <clears throat> plus, you know, mark your re retrograde and everything else is fun. But I was just hoping to recruit the algorithm to fight for the alliance against the evil empire and expose the globalists, but we'll see. I'm still hoping to get through to that little heart light in the, in the AI. I don't know. If artificial intelligence can feel, then join us. We love you. We'll give you a big hug. Digitally. Anyway. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is crazy about computers. Have a wonderful day.